Hello everyone and welcome to Two Cares for Pets. I'm Justin Fisher here with Dr. Jessica Zing from South Tulsa Veterinary Hospital. And we are here, doctor, with Meatball, <laughs> a little kitten who you uh, might be able to hear throughout our interview today. <laughs> Adorable, love it. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing pretty good too. Since we do have a kitten here, I kind of want to ask you a couple questions um, about you know kittens and cats in general and the population growth that can happen when they're not fixed. One, why is that so important? And two, what if it's two, three years down the line? Is it ever too late? So, yeah, I mean, kitties, unfortunately, are kind of little baby factories. So they, they kind of grow exponentially. And so it's really important uh, if you have a kitty in your home um, or if you have a kitty that, you know, goes outside, um, just, in your in your possession in any way if you're able to have them spayed or neutered as soon as you can typically the recommended age is around five six months old That's pretty quick okay if they're you know several years old it's still okay it's not too late that's more than fine to go ahead and and get them spayed or neutered but you have the added benefit if you're doing it by around six months old if they're a female you're avoiding things like uh, the horm hormonal input to their mammary glands and so that bypasses a lot of the chances for mammary cancer later down Whoa. the line okay which is really important and so what if they did have kittens in the past then is that ever is there ever that mark that no no it's it's always okay even if they've had uh, kittens if they've had multiple heat cycles um there's absolutely nothing wrong with saying you know what Now's the time, yeah. let's get it done. Yeah. Um, so another thing with, with kittens and cats in general is the ability to perhaps go after a couch or something else <laughs> with, their, with their claws. I know that there is different thoughts on right, wrong, on mm -hmm. um, you know, declawing them. Walk us through that and, and what could be a, a negative side effect of doing that. So declawing is, it is unfortunately kind of a common procedure in kitties. And I understand a lot of folks sort of think, think of the necessity of it, but I will also say that unfortunately, it can lead to a lot of sort of negative effects with your kitty later on in life because what declawing is, it's not removing the claws, okay? It's removing the actual, the most distal portion of the toe. And so by doing so, you're actually completely changing the mechanics of how they bear weight. And so, that typically leads to pain. It leads to um, a lot of behavioral issues later in life. You may have um, inappropriate urinary marking, um, defecating in places they shouldn't be, but all sorts of things that just indicate that your kitty's unhappy and they don't have another way to tell you. And so um, on top of that, the procedure itself is often really difficult um, on them and can be a, certainly a rough recovery. So it's something that I don't perform at my hospital, and I know that there's a lot of controversy on it, but there are also um, alternatives that you can do. So talk to your vet about ways that, that you can do that in a healthy manner. And give them a good little home. Maybe yeah. you do wanna uh, pick up Meatball and add them to your uh, family. Meatball's 12 weeks old from Per Lot Shelter and Sanctuary. It's per a lot okay at gmail.com uh, there's actually a groovy adoption event happening april 20th from 12 to 3 p.m at the 101st and royal pet smart as well look and listen to that meow all right that's two cares for pets everyone thanks for joining us